the year is soon to end, so I decided to show you my most valuable Android apps. And uh, let's start with um, RecForge. RecForge is an app to uh, record audio with, and uh, I use that app a lot because I some of my videos I do by recording audio and later on add contents to that audio. So this is how RecForge looks like. Here you have all the files you have recorded and uh, here you can edit your audio files. And here you have uh, some settings and so on. So it's quite easy. Um, you have a great vi widget for RecForge, as you can see here on my home screen. Uh, it's a nice widget, you can tap on it to record audio directly. And of course, you can stop recording from the widget too. So, RecForge is a very valuable app for me. And uh, Evernote. Evernote is another app that is very valuable for me because I use it for a lot of different things. For example, GTD, getting things done. I use it as a journal, diary, note-taking app, um, knowledge base, and much, much more. So. Evernote is the second app I show you today. And um, another app that is very valuable for me is the app I use now at the moment, and that is Screencast. I use it at the moment to record this screencast. Um, it's an app that you need to be rooted to be using. Uh, so if you have a rooted phone you can install this app called Screencast and record Screencast from your Android screen. It's very cool. You have different options. And so on. Like this. You can add touch point when you click on the screen and so on. Uh, it's a great app to make these screencasts. Okay, so that was another very valuable app for me. Uh, DropSync is another very useful app for me. And uh, that app. With that app you can sync folders on your Android phone with your Dropbox account. And uh, it works really great. So for example when I use it to record audio with RecForge, uh, it automatically syncs all the audio files to my Dropbox account. So. DropSync is very useful and I can highly recommend it. It syncs my images, audio files, documents and all that between my phone and my Dropbox account. So for example I can add a file on my Mac to my Dropbox account and open it directly on the phone of course from the Dropbox app or from a folder sync to my Android device. Another very valuable app for me for Android is setting profiles. I have already done some videos about that app. Uh, I have made some profiles that get activated depending on where I am and so on. And these profiles um, turns different stuff off when I'm not using them. And all that to save battery life. And I have also done some rules to activate these profiles. So for example, every time the screen goes off, uh, mobile data and Wi-Fi turns off and some more. 
So setting profiles is another app that I can highly recommend. So to summarize, uh, Evernote, RecForge, setting profiles, DropSync, and Screencast. It's my five most valuable apps for Android that I can highly recommend. So that's it. Please like this video, give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.